Okay, so I have the Alec Bradley Prensado. You say it better than me. Prensado? Alec Bradley Presnado. 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 Okay, too much tequila for me. All right, now I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize, y'all. <laughs> so the Alec Bradley Presnado, which was what, what number? Talking about number eight? What number were we? Number eight. Okay, number eight. Boy, you're destroying okay. my review. You know I'm gonna put I'm gonna, I'm gonna clip this and post it just like this now. <laughs> hey, well, hey, you with all this I'll stuttering it, and tequila talk. <laughs> Y'all getting it raw, getting it raw. Hey, hey so uh, the real Presnado, raw. <laughs> Number eight cigar 2023. Came off very, 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 very peppery, right? We like pepper, but we like pepper balance. I think I, I, I don't know if I'm speaking for you. <laughs> But I'm gonna I'm gonna speak for me. I like a balanced pepper, so I feel like this um, Presnado was a little over peppery in the very beginning. Now, did it dial back as we got to here? We are with the um, into the second third, clearly into the second third. We got to, we got to that first third, and we 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 bust through it. Yes, my burn is horrible. And I'm gonna speak on that too. We're gonna mention that. We're gonna mention that because I've held my cigars up on this show plenty of times and. Me being somebody who's known for a bad burn, my cigars on the show have never looked like this. And I picked my cigar from Cigars International, this particular stick, Cigars International, San Antonio. And I do not believe that Cigars International, San Antonio, takes terrible care of their, of their cigars. I think they take very, very good care of their sticks. And I had a hard time keeping this cigar lit. I probably lit this cigar probably four times, five times while we were going through the episode. Um, so that kind of speaks to the, the construction of the cigar. I even went back and clipped it a second time. First clip, I'm like, okay, maybe the clip was bad. Let me go back and clip it a little bit further down, which is a little too far in my opinion. I think my first clip was right on on on, on, on par. I've been smoking cigars for well over a decade. I know how to clip my sticks. And so I don't think it was in my initial my, my initial clip, and I don't think it was my initial light. Terrible burn, over pepper in the very beginning. Flavors did get better as we um, progressed throughout the episode. Um, it gave me some 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 oak, some nice strong oak, which was pleasant. I liked it. I liked it. So I have no problem with some strong oak um, on top of the pepper. Um, not much nuttiness, not much like sweetness, nothing at all. So if, if you're looking for a cigar that has some sweetness, that first third, it's not going to give it to you. I don't, I don't know what the, the second and final third officially have in store for me, but it didn't give me too much of what I really, really, really enjoy of a stick. So going off of my palate and what I look for in, in, into a cigar, is this a top 10 cigar? It is not. Is a number eight cigar top 10? Absolutely not. Um, we're talking about construction. We're talking about draw. We're talking about changes. The changes were great. I enjoyed. The, I enjoyed the um, the change from over pepper to strong oak. That was nice. Nice touch. Um, but if you're looking for a cigar that's going to hit you nicely off the top, like off the rip, and want to keep you engaged with the stick as you're smoking it, fortunately, I would probably this is not the one. This is not the one. Um, so it didn't make me fond of the cigar. I'm going to keep smoking it. And I think with this one is going to be very, very vital that I give a final review because I don't want to unfairly judge this stick. But at this point, this point with this stick, I'm going to give it a low threes, man. I'm going to say it's going to be a 3.2. I did not like this stick to this point. I kept searching for it and I was very, very cogn- cognizant of what I'm pulling from the stick as we were having our conversation. Sometimes we'll have a, have a conversation and it plays the background and we're just picking up on notes as we go along. But I was very cognizant of what I was getting as I was poking this stick. And it wasn't something that made me fond of the stick to say, let me keep smoking this to find out what's in store next. And I think that's very important for a cigar to do in that first third, to say, let me keep my cigar smoker engaged. And let me see, let me give it something as I make my transitions and changes through that second, third, and final third. The cigar doesn't do it. So based on my palate, like I said, 3.2, I said 
3.2. 3.2. That's what we're going with. 